In this video, you will learn how to properly detail pre-tack around a typical pipe penetration. Projects may have site-specific details that differ from this video tutorial. Please review any project-specific details before starting application. Pre-tack is a pre-applied HDPE waterproofing membrane with a pressure-sensitive adhesive coating, also known as a PSA, that fully activates when fresh concrete is placed against it to create an integral bond to the concrete substrate. The following materials are utilized in this video tutorial. One roll of pre-tack waterproofing membrane. One roll of pre-tape single-sided adhesive tape. One roll of pre-tape D double-sided adhesive tape. One roll of bento tack hydrophilic water stop. One cartridge of e-stop goo hydrophilic water stop sealant. You will also need the following tools. One permanent marker. One utility knife. One heavy seam roller that is between 2 and 4 inches wide and made from either metal or hard rubber. One stainless steel hose clamp with a worm gear. And one 10-ounce caulking gun. For the purposes of this video, we will demonstrate how pre-tack is sealed around a horizontal penetration. A penetration on a vertical surface will follow the same process. To properly seal a pipe penetration, first check to confirm that the pipe penetration is secured firmly in place. Refer to pre-tack specifications for proper substrate preparation. Step 1. Apply the pre-tack base sheet around the penetration. Roll out the pre-tack field sheet up to the base of the pipe with the adhesive surface of the PSA towards the applicator. Use a permanent marker to mark the pre-tack membrane where it meets the base of the penetration. Then, cut a hole that is one quarter of an inch wider than the pipe's outside diameter. Carefully slide the pre-tack membrane down over the pipe and confirm that the gap between the pre-tack sheet and the pipe is no greater than one-eighth of an inch. Finally, remove the release liner over the PSA surface within two feet of the pipe penetration. Step 2. Seal the gap between the pre-tack field sheet and penetration. Apply E-Stop Goo Water Stop Sealant around the base of the pipe to create a one-inch angled cant that extends onto the pipe and the pre-tack membrane. Tool the sealant into a one-inch cant around the base of the penetration, making sure there are no gaps. Step 3. Create a pre-tack target sheet. To determine the size of the target sheet, measure the width of the pipe and add 8 inches to find the final length per side. We are using a 4-inch diameter pipe, so the target sheet sides will be 12 inches long in this example. First, measure out and cut a 12-inch square pre-tack target sheet. Next, fold the 12-inch square in half twice to find the center of the target sheet and remove the clear release liner. Using a spare piece of the 4-inch pipe as a template, place it in the center of the target sheet and trace a circle around the pipe with a permanent marker. Then, use a utility knife to make two X-shaped cuts within the drawn circle through the center of the target sheet. Next, apply pre-tape D to the underside of the target sheet. Cut four pieces of pre-tape D double-sided tape that will be applied to the smooth underside of the target sheet. The length of the pre-tape D pieces should equal the length of the target piece. In this example, each piece of pre-tape D is 12 inches long. Turn the target sheet over to expose the smooth underside without the PSA adhesive. Apply the pre-tape D pieces to the outer perimeter of the target sheet by removing the release liner on one side of the pre-tape D double-sided tape and adhering it to the perimeter edge of the target sheet. Continue to apply the additional pre-tape D pieces around the perimeter of the target sheet, overlapping the tape adhesives onto each other. When installing one piece of pre-tape D over a previously applied piece, peel back the release liner of the existing pre-tape D to achieve a direct adhesive-to-adhesive -adhesive bond. Once the pre-tape D is applied to the target sheet, wait to remove the second pre-tape D release liners until instructed. Step 4. Apply the pre-tack target sheet onto the penetration. Slide the pre-tack target sheet down over the pipe penetration with the PSA side of the pre-tack facing up and the pre-tape D side facing down. Then firmly press the target sheet down around the base of the penetration so that the previously applied E-stop goo becomes visible around the edges of the pre-tack triangles. Next, remove the pre-tape D release liner on the bottom of the target sheet one side at a time and seal it to the underlying pre-tack base sheet. After removing all of the release liners, use a heavy seam roller to firmly seal along the perimeter edges of the target sheet. Step 5. Seal the penetration detail. Seal the outside edges of the target sheet to the pre-tack base sheet with pre-tape single-sided tape by cutting each piece of pre-tape long enough to extend 2 inches past each edge of the target sheet. 
The pieces are 16 inches long in this example. Then apply the pre-tape to seal the outer perimeter of the target sheet by removing the pre-tape release liner and adhering it centered over the edge of the target sheet while making sure each piece extends 2 inches past each corner and onto the pre-tack base sheet. After the pre-tape is applied, use a heavy seam roller to firmly seal along the perimeter edges of the target sheet. Next, seal the target sheet to the penetration with pre-tape. Wrap the roll of pre-tape single-sided tape around the penetration and cut it after it overlaps 2 inches past the pre-tape edge. This should create a minimum 2-inch tail. Next, remove the pre-tape release liner and wrap the pre-tape tightly around the base of the penetration, making certain to cover the pre-tack triangles from the target sheet. Press and roll the tape tightly to the penetration and smooth out any wrinkles. Finally, secure the pre-tape around the base of the penetration with a stainless steel hose clamp positioned one inch above the target sheet, over the pre-tape and pre-tack triangles. Tighten the worm gear and trim off the excess hose clamp tail. Please note that when the penetration is located above the water table, a half-inch wide UV-resistant cable tie can be used instead of a stainless steel hose clamp to secure the base of the penetration detail. Step 6. Water stop application around the penetration. This final step will complete the penetration detail by applying water stops. Wrap the base of the penetration detail with bento tack water stop. Wet the bento tack by first dipping it in water to activate the adhesive wrapper and then press it firmly into place to form a one inch angled cant around the base of the penetration. Make sure there are no gaps in the bento tack. Complete the detail by placing a continuous 3 8 inch bead of E-Stop Goo Water Stop sealant around the top edge of the pre-tape on the penetration. Do not tool or flatten the E-Stop Goo bead. The pre-tack pipe penetration detail is now complete.